All right. I'm not going to talk a lot about this little picture here, um, but it's really cool. Again, I found this diagram posted on, where else? Facebook, the source of all knowledge, right? Um, where I spent a lot of my time uh, I, at the end of last month. And I'd seen this before. Um, now, although you don't see anything in that mentions God, this came from a We Are Teachers Facebook page. I can't help but see that it's full of biblical principles throughout here. You see the four outer circles, you know, a job, finding your purpose in life, something you love to do, the world needs it, you're paid for it, you're great at it. Each of those things kind of intersect. You know, the intersection between what you love and what the world needs is your mission. Intersection between, it's a Venn diagram, so it's right in my alley in math, right? What you're great at and things you love, that's your passion, right? Your profession, that means you're getting paid for it and you're good at it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it, right? And then things that you're paid for and the world needs it, that's a vocation. And where all those things intersect is your purpose in life, if all those things tend to work out. But I see God in it. The thing that, you know, it says to me on the top circle, you know, for a Christian, it's impacted by the Lord, the things that you love. Psalm 34, I'm sorry, Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. That verse has carried me all my whole Christian life, pretty much. Um, the next one on the right, the world needs it. That indicates, you know, for the believer, a heart of compassion and mercy that comes from God. And when you see the needs around you, it's something that where you can contribute, um, that points to your calling. I mean, for my wife, it was a desire to work with children and to, to build her life into children. And that's what she's done for years and years and years. Um, the circle on the, on the bottom, paid for it. Well, that sounds, you know, kind of commercial but, and worldly. But really, you think about it, you know, um, it echoes the understanding that God meets our needs and he has led us to the right job at the right time, the right place for his glory. And then that last one on the left, the, the fourth circle, you're great at it, reminds me that God gives us talents and strengths, experiences and successes so we can be a blessing to others. Um, and I've seen this in my own life and people you know, around me and my own family, um, especially our son this weekend, just see him as a great uh, drama teacher, really, really make ministers to those kids. So it takes a while and some people don't find it so early in life. Um, I can, I'm not sure I can have found it recently. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do when I grow up, but I'm, I, keep, I keep looking and developing those passions. So as you're doing this, here's what you, you want to think, and I didn't come up with these myself. came up with a, a book I read early in the semester, uh, Work, A Kingdom Perspective on Labor. We're not just choosing our vocations, right? He says we're led to them. This implies we must be open to hearing from God what he's calling us to do. And even when we've been called and gifted to do something, he doesn't just leave us to our own devices. He guides us and steers us in our work. Um, and here's uh, an insight that I had that I didn't read anywhere from a commentary or a theology book. I just looked at Matthew 6, 33, where it talks about seeking uh, first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. And in the context, Jesus is speaking about, you know, God feeds the birds and the, and, uh, the, birds and the flowers, um, talking about basic needs, your food and clothing, right? Where, did that, where does that come from? You know, for, for the animals, you know, they're born with the clothing and, and he provides food, you know, for them. Even during the winter, somehow, these bunnies and birds survive on stuff. Uh, but how does he normally meet our needs? Isn't it through our jobs? So maybe if we seek first his kingdom, he will lead us to jobs so that all those things will be added to us. So I see a connection between seeking God first and finding the right job. So as we're in looking in this, and some of you I know are in transition and going to be looking around for a new uh, chapter in your life. So this, this, this may come in handy.